Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a few things pertaining to my health and diet journey. Today we're going to be talking about what WFPB and SOS free and intermittent fasting is all about. So stay tuned and find out all that information right here on Garden Gen's Journey. So welcome back to my channel everybody. I'm glad to have you with me on my journey. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you find this video full of information and encouraging. Um, I titled this video, My 300 Pound Life, um, kind of based off of some different um, videos that I've been watching about overweight people and their struggles. TLC has a um, series called My 600 Pound Life where it follows really overweight people and going through gastric bypass and things like that trying to uh, lose weight and become a more normal size a more healthy size there's also a couple other uh, videos uh, shows out there um, thousand pound sisters and um, there's another one out there but anyways um, I haven't gotten um, that heavy, um, but I have topped out at just slightly over 300 pounds, and that was roughly 10 years ago. And since then, I've really struggled to get my weight down to a more reasonable number, a more healthy number, and I've done multiple things to try to uh, go that route, but um, with the different health issues that I deal with, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, I've had uh, a complete hysterectomy, and some other health issues that have really sidelined any physical activity I can do. So one of the only things I could manage is my food consumption. And I haven't done the best at that um, either. So it's been a real struggle. And if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you kind of know uh, the ins and outs of that struggle. Uh, the most recent change that I documented on this channel really was going gluten-free uh, to help with the fibromyalgia to see if that is triggering uh, the flare-ups that I have with my fibromyalgia and my chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, gluten-free is not something that I take lightly. There's a lot of health in um, eating your grains. And um, so it was a lot of research and study and just kind of being at my last resort on how to deal with my fibromyalgia and my chronic fatigue syndrome without being on medication all the time. I do not want to be on medication all the time. So trying to find natural ways to help my body deal with these different ailments. So I started uh, the gluten-free diet lifestyle um, in March. So I've been doing it roughly three months, going into my fourth month. And uh, with gluten-free, it takes a long time to recognize any real benefits because gluten sticks and it sticks inside your cells and it takes a long time for your body to be able to fully flush out all that gluten protein that is stuck within your cells. It takes at least six months uh, of sticking to a strict gluten-free diet to really start seeing the benefits of it. But I have noticed um, I am starting to feel better. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I count that as um, going good. So um, it's very important to me to be able to stick with this all the way through. It's difficult. Um, Gluten-free things are becoming easier to find, but they're still very expensive. Um, I don't do a lot of bread and bread products, so to speak, um, because it's just so expensive. And there's other ways to enjoy things without having bread 
and so um, that's what I'm learning how to do um, like when I do veggie wraps and things instead of having a tortilla um, I just have it on a on a plate you know kind of like a, a salad kind of thing or I'll have it uh, wrapped in a big nice uh, lettuce leaf or something like that um, and it, it takes some ingenuity um, and there are times that I crave my bread products um, I crave uh, things I can't have just like uh, many of us uh, we go through certain phases where um, you know you really want something that you can't have you really miss that uh, that certain thing you used to be able to eat um, the other day I was at the farmers market and uh, there was a lady who made cinnamon rolls beautiful beautiful cinnamon rolls um, with caramel apple and it was just amazing to to look at and to smell but I can't have it <laughs> I was like oh I miss cinnamon rolls I used to make cinnamon rolls they were so light and just airy and they weren't dense and heavy it was a nice treat to have but being gluten-free um, cinnamon rolls is off the list and so sometimes um, you know those things come up um, bagels and donuts and things um, those treats that we get once in a while that gluten-free things are very hard to to uh, try to replicate um, it's a it's a change but I'm finding as I deal with a gluten-free lifestyle more and more I crave those things less and less I really don't miss them as much as I first used to um, and I definitely don't miss how they made me feel with being achy and tired and things so the trade-off is worth it you just have to stick with it and I know I know it can be very difficult at times um, very difficult but uh, fortitude is what's going to get me through this and uh, just sticking with the program so that's the gluten-free lifestyle that I've delved into in March since then I've been doing a lot of YouTube uh, surfing and and researching and things like that about different ways to improve my uh, dietary needs and uh, two channels that I really recommend if you're really interested in learning about a um, plant-based a vegetarian vegan lifestyle is uh, the whole food plant-based cooking show that's a big title I know that's the whole food plant-based cooking show and well your world um, I will put the links to both channels up above and I will also put them in the description box below so you can find them um, both channels are very excellent on um, really putting together nice recipes very simple ways to eat healthier and uh, I've really appreciated those two channels also uh, the book uh, the starch solution by Dr. McDougall that's an excellent read as well and there's some other books out there um, eat to live is one I personally haven't read this one but it's highly recommended for people who are trying to manage their health better to to try to find non medicine used ways of getting better um, because you can really treat a lot of ailments simply by improving your diet uh, the foods we eat are sometimes what's killing us and uh, so just changing those foods you'll feel so much better and don't take my word for it you know try it yourself try it underneath a doctor's supervision of course and just see how you start feeling when you change your lifestyle so back to the questions at the beginning of the video what is WFPB SOS free and intermittent fasting well in the uh, people who are within these lifestyles learn very quickly to uh, shorten things into abbreviations because it's a lot to say <laughs> so WFPB is whole food plant-based instead of saying that we're vegan um, because we still might use animal products like leather or some things like that wool it's an animal product um, so instead of saying vegan, because that's a that can be a whole different ball of wax, when, uh, depending on who you're talking with. 
Uh, it's whole foods, plant-based. We eat plant-based foods that are whole foods. We don't eat refined things. Um, SOS free means salt, oil, and sugar. Don't use salt, we don't use oil, we don't use added sugars when we are cooking. So that's pretty simplistic there as far as what that means. And then intermittent fasting, it's uh, basically taking a break from eating. And the easiest intermittent fasting to think about is what you normally do anyways. Um, you eat supper and then you go to bed and you sleep for eight hours or so and then you wake up and you have breakfast. Right there you just did some intermittent fasting. The word breakfast, if you actually look at it and slow down when you pronounce it, it is break fast. So you're breaking the fast that you've done all night when you were sleeping by having a meal. Intermittent fasting goes a little bit longer than that and there's different ways to do it. Um, go ahead and research and find uh, out the information that works best for you. But for me, uh, intermittent fasting, I stop eating at 6 p.m. in the evening and then um, I have, I, I, you know, go through the rest of the evening without eating. I'll drink some water and things like that or some herbal teas. And then, you know, I go to bed, uh, get up. Sometimes I'm up um, early, like 6 or 7. Sometimes I'm not up until 8 or 9. It just depends on how my body's feeling. Being that I work from home and things like that, I can get up when my body says it's time to get up. So I'm so thankful for that. But anyways, um, I get up around 6, 7, 8, 9. And um, I might have something light, like a Laura bar or a piece of fruit because I take my vitamins first thing in the morning. I take a multivitamin and I also take uh, a magnesium uh, to help make sure that I have enough magnesium to again deal with uh, fibromyalgia, um, some brain issues that I'm dealing with. So I take something small uh, to take my vitamin supplements with because they're best taken when you eat something that way your your juices are already going but as for as far as my breakfast meal I don't eat that until around 10 a.m. and that's going to be a big bowl of oatmeal and um, I will put a link uh, above to Dylan's uh, version of oatmeal on Well Your World and it's just amazing how he throws all this stuff in there but I've kind of followed that pattern um, because I was not a big home cooked oatmeal fan I hated it I just didn't like the texture of it um, but I wanted to start eating more whole foods and that means eating whole oatmeal and not the instant crap you buy in the stores um, so I knew that if I was going to do that, I was going to have to have inspiration and learn how to make plain Jane old-fashioned oats taste pretty good. So again, uh, I'll put the link up above uh, to Dylan's uh, video on just making oatmeal. And wow, um, just following the basics of, of what he does as a uh, blueprint, if you will, to make oatmeal, I have come up with a recipe that I absolutely love, um, and it's different. Um, it's not anything close to instant oatmeal in texture or in taste um, because it's made with whole foods. It doesn't have additional oils in it, it doesn't have additional salt or sugar. It's made with, um, usually it's uh, oatmeal, and then I'll have some cut up apples, I'll have a, a mashed banana in there, uh, nuts, and then um, I use dates as my sweetener, and um, it works. Um, it takes some getting used to. The taste buds have to change a little bit as you're learning to uh, lay off the salt, lay off the extra sugar, um, not use oils. Um, I haven't been using a lot a lot of oils or a lot of sugar or a lot of salt. I've generally been very mild on those additives, but um, lately I've, I've basically cut them completely out, the, the refined stuff. 
I don't use anymore. Um, salt I will use sparingly depending on what I'm eating. But again, it's very, very little. So it's been an interesting, interesting um, journey. And I'm thankful that my husband is, is starting to pick up on the different changes that I'm making. And he's trying his best to support me um, with being gluten-free and um, on a whole food plant-based diet. Um, trying to find places to go out and eat is um, nearly impossible for me um, because many restaurants um, don't offer a lot of um, gluten-free um, options. You can find a lot of veg vegetarian options, but gluten-free and vegetarian um, is very limited. Um, the one place I can eat is um, a Mexican restaurant and I absolutely love the food there. Um, and I get um, a uh, basically a taco salad and they put it on corn chips and so I instead of gluten I'm having corn and it's all fresh veggies and things like that and I absolutely love it so win-win there. But um, going back to that, my husband's trying to be more and more supportive of my dietary needs. And instead of having to buy all this different food for me and then what my rest of the family will eat, he's trying to get on board with how I'm eating, um, both for, for the financial aspect of not having to buy ingredients for two different lifestyles, but also as a way to support me and take charge of his own health um, because he deals with some health issues. So that's that in a nutshell. Um, it's a struggle. Um, I won't say this is easy by any means. Um, those two channels that I recommended have been a, a big, big help. Also watching some of the other programs that I mentioned earlier um, my 600 pound life and then some other um, documentaries and TV shows of uh, morbidly obese people um, turning their lives around and getting a hold of their health um, has been inspirational for for me um, like I said I'm not that heavy yet um, I'm sitting close to 300 pounds um, I'm 5'6 and I'm 43 um, so um, that's the weight's not coming off in the blink of an eye. Um, it's going to take time. It didn't get on me overnight. It's not going to come off me overnight. The one thing I, I would really like to share with you guys, um, if you've been following me for any extended period of time, is you know that I haven't been able to move much. Between the fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue syndrome, it's been very difficult for me to do much of anything for an extended period of time. I'm out in my garden right now, and um, for me, gardening was a big struggle. Uh, being out for half an hour even was almost too much uh, with my fibro and stuff. It would really inflame and um, be very difficult for me to function uh, because I couldn't be up and moving much. Um, being up and around for about an hour or so at a time was about tops for me um, before I was hurting so bad that um, I had to sit, put my feet up, and uh, just take it easy for a little while. And if I overdid it, you know, if I pushed through, as some people would say, oh, just push through, you know, um, the next day I wouldn't be able to move at all. Um, so that's been very difficult. But for the last week, um, I've really seen some strides in my health. Um, I've been out gardening and doing some other work outside and cleaning the house and things like that. Almost on my feet all day. And we're talking about eight hours or so. Taking a few breaks here and there to put my feet up because I do have some swelling in my, my legs just for me being so heavy. Um, but all in all, being up on my feet eight, ten hours a day doing stuff around the yard, around the house, in the garden. Um, that's been huge. Um, this is the first time in years since before my, uh, my uh, hysterectomy that I've been able to actually move again. 
and so that is very very exciting so I wanted to share that with you that that's a major improvement in my life is being able to get up and move on my feet all day long so I wanted to share that with you so that is my journey in a nutshell these are the different lifestyle changes that I'm making uh, making sure I'm sticking to the whole food plant-based diet and also that I'm staying SOS free sugar oil and salt free as well as um, being gluten free and of course doing the intermittent fasting now that's a lot to put on your plate all at once um, I didn't start with it all at once uh, I started with the gluten free and then started working more into the whole food plant-based uh, part of the diet and with the whole food plant-based you're almost doing SOS free anyways because you're using whole foods and not the refined oils and sugars salt was the only other thing to kind of eliminate out of my diet so that's where I am I will keep you guys updated on the journey how it's going right now I'm not losing any weight but I'm not gaining any either it's about staying stable with my weight getting healthier feeling better and with that with me being up and around more the weight will start coming off so I will keep you updated on that so if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you can stay part of the journey see what's going on health wise as well as all the other stuff I share here on the homestead I thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found it encouraging a little more enlightening on the different things I deal with and maybe give you some encouragement on different things you might want to try with your own lifestyle with your own health and weight journeys this is Jen and I thank you so much for watching and until next time I hope that wherever you are you are wonderfully blessed bye bye